fixes them. Yeah, you're all right now. Thanks, El Latigo. camp has just been raided by Indians. Were any of your people with them? You have just been gone from the village. Where were you? We go to hunt food. Our people are hungry. Does a lot of go want to see us starve? You don't have to leave the village to hunt food. Why must we listen to you? How do we know you are spirit of El Artigo? I say you are just a man who will bleed and die like any other. El Latigo does not have to prove his words. I have told you that El Atico is the greatest of warriors. Now you have seen that alone he is more than a match for all of you. It may well be that these men were on the raid. Can't they at least be kept near the village after this? Tosco spoke the truth when he said our people are hungry. Since this trouble, the agency no longer sends us flour or beef. We must hunt or starve. El Atico will see that the white men send you food. White men will send us food? El Latigo has promised. But you must stay near your village. All of you. I think they will follow the wise counsel of their friend. Your supplies will be here tomorrow. We will believe it when we see them in our village. Ishika! the problem. There'll be no excuse for the Indians to leave the reservation now. I'll be glad to help you, Jerry. I'm sure Mr. Lee will, too. Good. Now I'll go on home and change my clothes and come back for you. We'll pick up Lee and go to the house for supplies. I'll be ready. All right. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Right now, we've got some business to talk over. Sure. Come on the office. What's up? Plenty. Tosco just met me in the canyon shack. That El Latigo was out at the Indian village again. He beat up Tosco and a couple of other bucks who were in on the road camp raid. And he made them all agree to stay in their village. Well, he tried that before. We still got a few of them to go on the raids. Yeah, but it's different this time. This El Latigo is going to keep the Indians in grub if they stay in line. And they're hungry enough now to listen to him. That's a fine mess. 
What's this, a lot of spirit button into our business for anyway? <laughs> spirit. These are the only kind of spirits we have around here. No, Barnett. It's some hombre the same as you or me. Could be someone like Jerry Randall. In fact, it might be Randall. Been trying to patch up the trouble between the tribe and the ranchers. Seems likely. We'll have to take care of them. Might not be so easy. Why don't we forget about the reservation Indians and just use the renegades in the hills? That wouldn't help. The whole idea of this business is to make it look like the reservation Indians are on the warpath. We've got to get them run off so I can buy up that reservation land. Sure, sure, I know all that. But an Indian's an Indian to the ranchers. They don't know one type from another. Randall does, and he'll tell the rest of them. And they'll believe him, too. We've got to have at least a few of the reservation Indians on every raid. OK. But if we're going to keep any of them on our side, we'll sure have to see they don't get the supplies. They'll ought to go promise them. Of course. One of the supplies going to be delivered. Tosco said tomorrow. All right. Round up enough renegades to do the job. You better stay out of sight yourself. OK. Hold it, Nancy. I'm going to angle off into the hills and scout around a bit. The way Tosco acted, he may be figuring on making trouble. That's a good idea, Jerry. That makes sense. Thank you. 